But because a lot of people only want to see the negative perspective of the negative news that are coming from River State, they don't want to see the good work that Nwike is doing, which is, today, which is why he has won the Sun Governor of the Year. I mean, the Sun newspaper is one, is one award that has always been seen to be independent. I'm using that as one example, not to say that someone like Ambode uh, in Lagos is doing very well, but do people really in APC in Lagos State know what the APC stands for? I use those two examples because I'm in PDP, so I don't want to make it look like I'm being partial because these are two governors that I've, I hold in very high esteem because of the infrastructural development that has gone on in their state and the impact it has had on, on their I'm, people. I'm, I'm, I'm cited you trying to be objective uh, yes. on, on this, but uh, uh, we'll get back to you, Nuhu, but uh, I, I really want to stay on uh, this with Ken. Perhaps let's talk more away from ideologies. Let's also talk more about dissatisfaction or uh, disaffection, rather, and the satisfaction we get from some members of our political parties, which uh, Nuhuata has also alluded to. Uh, you can't take away the fact that uh, sometimes bickering, internal bickering and squabbles in such uh, political parties would definitely give birth to another party as we're getting uh, to hear from INEC. Perhaps uh, shouldn't we be looking at uh, what is happening within the Atiku camp, the Tinubu camp, even though he's come up to say, well, there's nothing like that. That's not the first time we've heard politicians say, hey, you, you're wrong, but at the end of the day, we get to see something quite differently. Uh, and also within your party, there's also the McCaffrey faction and the Ali Modusheri faction, which is still very much there. And and uh, these fights, in fighting, we're getting to see in political parties as well as even in the APC. Does well, that tell you mm. something about our democracy? Well, uh, uh, Sulai, there's no way uh, you would expect that in, in every, in every uh, political uh, uh, alignment there wouldn't be in fighting. Everybody cannot agree. Because we ask but, this, but if no, look sorry, at the APC, well, we're asking this mm. because following the talk about ideology, yes. it is lacking. It then yes. means that we will have so many people with different intention coming on. Well, that's exactly uh, what I was trying to say. Beds of the same uh, feather, feathers. Yes, conglomerating together. So, it, but it's all encapsulated, all that you have said. But basically, if you look at the APC, uh, uh, Tidubi is one man that I, I have a lot of respect for. He built himself, even with all the opposition he had then from the Abbasanjo government, he held on to the AD and was the only governor that survived the AD onslaught. And eventually, nobody can take it away from Tinubu, his contribution. That's why you see that. It's funny, Fire Shea, who is a PDP governor, seems to have been the one that, cry, cry, uh, that was crying out loudest as we got what was happening to Tinubu. Yes, Tinubu had an anointed candidate in Ondo, for example, and it was a mistake. It was a mistake in the sense that uh, his anointed candidate did not win the primaries, and he was very hot, and he felt Oyego and Co. had rigged the primaries to favor Akiri Dulu. The letter he wrote was a mistake from him. But I, I like the fact that in, in the midst of, the, of his bitterness, he, 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 he backtracked. He, he backtracked and was able to, to swallow the bitter, bitter pill. In the sense that ACN, in, in the whole of the Southwest, was built by, by Tinubu. He funded the structure of, of ACN. And ACN metamorphos was, was the same party that now joined the CPC and the AMPP to, to, to form the APC. And so naturally, Tinubu felt that I should... I should have a, a, I should have a maybe offer of a first refusal in any of the southwest states when it comes to issues that have to do with APC. But that's also a strong message to Tinubu that uh, now everybody wants to be democratic. Do you understand? As much as those decisions he is taking, for example, in Lagos, we have seen Fashola and Ambo, they turn out to be very good governors in those decisions he is taking. But going into other, other areas have made it impossible for people to now agree that it will always be business as usual. We'll, we'll let you continue on okay. that. But uh, uh, for Nuhu, uh, Nuhu, let's uh, understand what uh, you mean by this dissatisfaction uh, that you're getting to see in some of these uh, members of political parties. Uh, for uh, Ken, he thinks that uh, that is uh, the more reason why we're getting to see some people move, migrate from their existing political party and uh, try to see what they can do with another one in the making. Yeah, exactly. I, I said a dis uh, uh, dissatisfaction on the way maybe government is run. You know, in another way, um, uh, they believe uh, that um, just as uh, 
um, my friend over there said uh, they believe that there are some critical decisions that are supposed to be taken uh, with their own consent. You know, before it's done, there were some appointments that were done, uh, you know, uh, without uh, them being involved in the process. And uh, they felt that uh, the whole uh, APC political machinery has been uh, hijacked by a particular group of people not, uh, uh, not uh, minding their own interest in the process. So definitely, and they tried many a times to um, reach the president and those decision makers within the party to see how uh, they could be able to, their opinions could be able to be heard. But uh, it, was, it, was, it was never done, you know, satis the dissatisfaction in that. And then they're also cashing on on the psychological, uh, you know, state of the Nigerian people of being uh, not satisfied with uh, the economic situation of the, of the country, we have a high inflation rate that is, uh, uh, I think, about 16%, if not over right now. And then we also have three quarters of the year on negative growth, you know. And they had various issues which they are cashing down on, uh, you know. And they feel that uh, the channel to communicate their solutions, their, 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 their recommendations to the government have not been accepted. So they're, they're, those are the issues. Those are the, the, the dissatisfaction issues that I was talking about. And that is what is generating to a lot of, uh, you know, food in the in the APC right now. So those are the levels of dissatisfaction that uh, are existing in the party of APC that is causing a lot of problems. All right, so when we come back, uh, we'll, we'll explore that more and talk about how we can get uh, to a stop uh, of this birth and rebirth of political parties in the country. Perhaps uh, if we put in, uh, well, a clear cut out ideology, because I, I still can remember the ideology of the UPN at that point in time, which was uh, basically on uh, social democracy and what they called democratic socialism and. Uh, Pretty much later, some had to call it Aoism. That's for the uh, Unity Party of Nigeria. When we return, we'll look at that and uh, get into the uh, whistleblowing policy of the federal government and see how that will help the fight against corruption. That's when we return. <laughs> 